a smart person, then you will get what they're talking about. I spent the entire morning listening to this again and again and finally got it. Paying attention to what's coming back to me, to you. Please listen to it carefully till the end. And as usual, using headphones and earphones will maximize your pleasure. Have a great day. Enjoy and chill. There's just one thing you have to do in order to be or do or have any of it. Just one thing. You just have to desire it. But it takes a little practice to desire and then not fight against it with memories, with observations, with what you think other people think. But when you are pure in your desire, meaning you expect it, you want it and you trust it. You want it and you trust it. You want it and you know it. Then you're going to be pleasantly pummeled with those things that you've been wanting for a while. It's not unusual to not expect things to come when they haven't been coming. And that's why we incessantly, those of you who have been listening to us for a while, we just keep going back to the beginning. There's this law of attraction and it is dominant. And this is a world of attraction only. There's no assertion. And what you are putting out is what's coming back to you. Pay attention. Pay attention to what's coming back. That's what you're putting out. If what's coming back pleases you, then keep putting it out there. If you're getting all kinds of love and all kinds of wonderful things back, then keep doing what you're doing. But this is about living life and figuring out, oh, that that happened to me is a result of these feelings that I've been having, which are because of these thoughts that I've been thinking. And before you know it, you've purified, you've clarified, you've calibrated your thoughts to your inner being who's thinking the thoughts of everything that you've put into your vibrational reality. Do you know what we mean by vibrational reality? You came into this physical body and you've been sorting and sifting, knowing what you don't want and asking for all kinds of things, whether you speak it out loud or not. And every time you ask, every time verbally or vibrationally or emotionally you ask for something it is a vibrational emanation it is a vibrational radiating it is a vibrational oozing it is a vibrational rocket that your inner being sees follows and tends to and this culmination of all of these desires that you've been setting into motion equal a vibrational reality that is like a baby in the womb it is gestating and ready to come out into the world where you can see it but you have to be in the state of allowing yourself to see it you've put so much there but most people they don't calibrate themselves to what's there and you know why you know why you don't calibrate yourself to the things that you have created and to the things that you want and to the things that you've asked for we're not saying that you all don't. And we're not saying that any of you always don't. We're just saying when you don't calibrate to what's in your vortex, you know why? Because you're calibrating to what's already manifested, which has nothing to do with it. It's like old news. It's like somebody saying, oh, I got a new job. And somebody saying, oh, what are you going to do? And you say, I don't know, but let me tell you about my last job. <laughs> well, how much are you going to make? Well, I'm not sure, but I didn't make enough on my last job. It's like what is or what has been is so stuck in your vibrational craw that you don't let yourself expect around it. Even though your inner being has taken every detail that you've asked for in every phase of every relationship, in every phase of everything that you've lived, everything that you didn't like caused you to ask for something different. And all of that, your inner being has calibrated to and knows exactly how to lead you wonderful you and all that you've asked for to the details of all of that and you all say good let's go and let's go now and your inner being says let's savor it let's milk it let's live life let's let life show you all of these things that you want in this delicious way and this delicious way and this delicious way so we have some questions for you they're really easy questions and if you get it wrong we'll guide you to the right answer would you rather listen to the knowing of your inner being who was with you before you came into this body and has stayed with you all along and who knows every hope and dream and wish that you've asked for and has calibrated to it and has been part of the gathering of all the cooperative components 
sort of a leading question here <laughs> would you rather ask for guidance and advice from your inner being or from your brother or cousin or person you used to work with inner being final answer then why don't you the difference is because this you have to tune to to feel it to see it to hear it this is out there bold and loud full of advice it, there's uh, some people I thank you I thought you were going to smack me with that um, this is called distraction I tried to distract you from your discomfort now you're appropriately hypnotized so thank you yeah, I, I look at manifestations from people like my brother or my father and? Or, and and I think well they're doing something that I want to do or achieving a result so maybe I should listen to them oh my brother's into this form of personal development and he highly recommends it oh it's a wonderful thing to ask them what they think but as you're collecting the data from others weigh it against what your inner being thinks about it because while it may have been the perfect path for them your inner being knows whether it's the perfect path for you because in your vortex is a unique pile of intentions and desires and preferences that are not the same of anybody else's and so you can certainly ask but weigh how you feel when those answers come against how you feel when the answers or the inspiration comes from your inner being I assume weigh how I feel when I'm asking a questions as well right if I'm if I'm in a negative state or not connected to source and oh, well, what's the point yeah. of asking the question that goes without saying you know that if you're in a bad mood you're not going to get anything back that you can trust nothing no <laughs> calibrate yourself the first conversation that we had with our friend is get yourself ready for the world calibrate to who you are and then calibrate to who you are and then then it's easy then it's easy isn't it then it's easy well it doesn't matter what you say it's how you feel mm. and if that's the way you feel you're not ever wrong in the way you feel but it is guidance you see yeah yes do you believe that you are the creator of your own reality yes but it's not a hard yes <laughs> I, I mean I'll be honest All right, I, so we're gonna step back not completely whoop, off the stage off. but maybe <laughs> do you believe that you create your own reality if you can't say yes to that fundamental that you create your own reality then you better ask the entire world what they think about everything and you better get the most awesome computer system going so that you can take all of that data and synthesize it and have it spit out some rhythms for you so that you, you don't bother with that because that won't work you don't know that you create your own reality I I do no you don't well exactly <laughs> so why why you badger me into having to so I I keep going well, back to if you don't create your own reality who does I nobody's know. ever gonna come to this hot seat again I know. you'll be so afraid <laughs> if you don't create your own reality who does who creates your own reality do you believe in law of attraction yeah yeah so there's a law of attraction that's responding to vibrational output so hey. who's responsible for the vibrational output of any I, I am so you're responsible for your vibrational output and the law of attraction is responding to the vibrational output that you output and that doesn't translate into therefore I create my own reality yes yes I feel so intimidated right now oh uh, we are mis being misunderstood yeah. you have to misunderstand because we've never cared more about somebody understanding this as we care about you but we can't change your point of attraction we can just flow what we know and our intent is not to intimidate you but to stimulate you to activate you to hold the vibrational frequency so that you can't miss it you see I think I just I, I have very mixed vibrations obviously um, um, some things manifest and other things don't and so I get in my head about what even getting up here it slightly confuses me because I I did have doubts about getting up here over the last few months did you hear what we said earlier that we would call people 
forward to have conversations that would be of benefit to everyone yeah you don't think this is a benefit to everyone yeah. you don't think that they don't have doubts that they're not sure that they want to be tuned in but they're not sure when they are in other words you represent a lot of people on the planet who are just beginning to find your way in all of this I, I just I don't see the line sometimes between where the clarity is and it's a I expect it and it's an assured thing where I don't even have to expect it because it is versus the wavering back and forward uh, you know I determined I'm just gonna go up there I don't even have to have a question that's why I kind of fumbled up here because uh, that would have given me resistance I suppose I just wanted to get here uh, and I got here but I feel like I've had other thoughts in my life about wanting to get somewhere or do something and it hasn't manifested so well what you're explaining and what you are representing is something that a lot of people are living you are putting too much credence in action and not enough credence in prepaving you're not putting enough credence in lining up energy so rather than lining up energy and then noticing the results you're just noticing the results and then trying to line up energy and it doesn't work that way so you got to get out ahead of it Esther's been calibrating for several months and finding herself feeling really really frisky so much so that when she was off there was no question that she was off and she knew she was off and it also was not that hard to get back on but when you haven't yet taken the time and shown yourself what true calibration with your true self is you're not even sure that your true self exists right now not really and so you've been calibrating yourself to so many others we're just going to give you a story to kind of explain it and it'll make you feel better and then you'll understand why this whole conversation was so valuable to everyone let's say that you're someone who wants to make a difference in the world that's certainly you someone who cares someone who knows you came with purpose someone who wants to be an uplifter someone who wants to understand someone who wants to teach and someone who wants to do really good in this life experience in other words that's a really good definition of who you are so you look at the world and you see it really diverse and kind of in upheaval and sort of confused but you're ready to go out into the world and you most of all this is your strongest most base natural innate desire and knowing you want to feel good you know life is supposed to feel good to you and you want that above all other things so you've decided to go out and make your mark in the world for the benefit of others and so that you can feel good so you decide to go about it and the only way you know to go about it because you are a practical human functioning in a practical human world so you get a profile of yourself pictures details information you get it on a huge search engine and you send it out to everyone on the planet and you say hey everybody this is me take a good look at this this is me you might meet up with me I'm out there running around I get around a lot and if you should meet me these are the things that I need from you so that I can feel good so get me learn me watch for me and respond appropriately <laughs> billions of people of the world this is what I'm gonna need from you well good luck with that <laughs> or you can get up in the morning quiet your mind calibrate to your highest frequency begin receiving impulses you can care about the way you feel you can calibrate to your emotions and you can be a vibrational point of attraction who goes out into the world and can't get anything less than what you've calibrated to now that's always true it's just that you're calibrating in a sloppy way where almost everyone is you're not calibrating deliberately you're calibrating by what you see by what you hear on the news by what you read by what happened before by what you remember by what's happened in that one and that one you might as well just send out that profile to the world because it's kind of that kind of a crapshoot isn't it or you could really calibrate you could calibrate yourself so well so well that a week or two or three down the road when you go out into the world you'll start making the association between your deliberate calibration to emotions that feel good to real things that you feel and the response of the population 
the vibrational population of the world we're talking about the way you rendezvous with traffic with individuals with animals with birds with insects with weather with thoughts with ideas with everything you will show yourself that you calibrated and that the universe is responding to you and then you will know your power until